very good morning dear guys today we are going to continue the first one story the lost child yes there we have seen that uh, the boy the little boy was going to the fair with his parents and as i told you the boy was getting easily fascinated by the things that he saw on the way to the road sorry on to the uh, on the way to the fair and the first two things we have seen what was the thing the first one was the toys the toys kept in the shops yes lined the road then second thing we have seen there was a flowery a flowery mustard field yes flowery mustard field flowering mustard field okay then let's see what happens there after that when the mother when the mother tried to divert tried to divert the mind of the boy and showed him a flowering mustard field pale like melting gold so look at there what happens there or what attracted the boy so there there the boy saw a group of dragon flies a group of dragon flies were bustling about on their gaudy purple wings intercepting the flight of a lone black bee or butterfly in search of sweetness from the flowers so there there in that flowering mustard field there was a group a group of dragon flies a group of dragon flies okay dragon flies you know better so there was a group of dragon flies which was roaming over there flying over there yes or flying over the flowers in the field so what happened there the dragon flies the group of, the group of dragon flies uh was uh, bustling about on their gaudy purple wing gaudy purple wings jo unke nazuk nazuk jo purple wings hote hain unke upar wo kya kar rahe the ud rahe the intercepting the flight intercepting means cross way mein okay like this intercepting ek dusre ka rasta kaatte hue this way it is called intercepting so they were crossing each other's way okay intercepting the flight of a lone black bee or butterfly and there was again a butterfly or a black bee a black bee or butterfly was there and the, these uh, dragon flies were just intercepting their flight yes intercepting their flight of the butterfly or a lone uh, sorry black bee in search of sweetness and these butterflies or lone uh, black bees were black bees or the butterfly black bee or the butterfly were there in search of sweetness sweetness from the flowers are jais baat hai butterfly dekho phool phool pe udte rehti hai in search of sweetness in switch uh, in search of sweetness in the flower or from the flowers so same in that field in that field there were dragon flies there was a block black bee or butterfly which were there in search of sweetness and here the dragon flies were intercepting intercepting their flight okay then what happens look at there the child followed them in the air with his gaze till one of them would steal its wings and raised and he would try to catch it yes but but what happened there the boy the boy followed followed them he was again again attracted towards the butterfly or the dragon flies as we know that little boy little boy everywhere in this world they try to catch the butterfly and even dragon flies हम भी देखते हैं छोटे छोटे जब हम बच्चे थे तो हम ड्रैगन फ्लाई को पकड़ने की बहुत कोशिश करते थे सो सेम हियर द बॉय द बॉय went after went after the dragon flies why to catch to catch okay with his gaze gaze means continue dekhte hue continue dekhte hue okay continuously looking at something that means called that is called gazing okay un butterflies ki or sorry dragon flies ki or continue dekhte hue the boy followed them 
द लिटल बॉय फॉलोड देम एंड टिल वन ऑफ देम वुड स्टील इट्स विंग वाई सो दैट वन ऑफ देम वन ऑफ देम वुड स्टील इट्स विंग एंड रेस्ट ऑन एनी फ्लावर देन ही वुड कैच एनी वन कैच एनी वन ऑफ दैम ताकि उनमें से किसी एक को पकड़ सके सो ही फॉलोड ही फॉलोड द ड्रैगन फ्लाइज टू कैच देम और कैच एनी वन ऑफ दैम किसी भी एक को वहां से पकड़ने के लिए ही फॉलोड ही फॉलोड द ड्रैगन फ्लाइज इन दैट मस्टर्ड फील्ड एंड लुक एट दिन वॉट हैपन्स बट इट गो फ्लटरिंग बट इट गो फ्लटरिंग मीन्स द ड्रैगन फ्लाइज एज जैसे हम जानते हैं कि अगर उनको पकड़ने जाते हैं तो हम नहीं पकड़ पाते हैं एज सुन एज वी कम क्लोजर दे फ्लाई अवे यस सो सेम हियर वेर एवर वेन एवर वेन एवर द बॉय वॉज गोइंग क्लोजर टू द बटर सॉरी ड्रैगन फ्लाइज दे वुड गो फ्लटरिंग फ्लैपिंग अप इन टू द एयर फ्लटरिंग फ्लैपिंग अप इन टू द एयर एयर में वो उड़ जाते थे फ्लटरिंग फ्लैपिंग फ्लैपिंग देयर विंग्स अपने विंग्स को फ्लैप करते हुए वो उड़ जाते थे एंड वेन ही हैड ऑलमोस्ट कॉट इट इन हीज हैंड्स बिल्कुल पकड़ने वाला ही होता था कि ड्रैगन फ्लाइज उड फ्लाई अवे यस फ्लैपिंग एंड फ्लैटरिंग देयर फ्लटरिंग देयर विंग्स फ्लैपिंग एंड फ्लटरिंग देयर विंग्स दे वुड गो अप इन द इन द एयर एयर में वो उड़ जाते थे सो What was happening there then? Again, due to the dragon flies, the boy left behind the parents. Yes, he lagged behind them. So again, then his mother gave a cautionary call. Again, again, his mother gave a cautionary call. Come, child, come, come on the footpath. Come on to the footpath. Yes, again, the mother, the mother called for. द बॉय कॉल ओवर द बॉय टू कम ऑन टू द फुटपाथ उस फील्ड से बाहर आओ चलो फुटपाथ पे आओ द मदर गिव हिम कॉशनरी कॉल कॉशनरी वाई बिकॉज इन द मस्टर्ड फील्ड यू कुड फाइंड एनी स्नेक और देर कैन बी एनी डेंजरस इंसेक्ट देर कैन बी डेंजरस इंसेक्ट एंड दैट्स वाई द मदर बींग कॉशियस फॉर हर चाइल्ड she called the boy again to come on to come on to the footpath yes footpath ke upar aane ke liye phir wo bulati hai okay then let's see what happens there he ran towards his parents gaily gaily happily merrily yes so again as we have seen he was obedient obedient agyakari ladka tha wo so what happened there he followed his parents miss he followed the call of his mother he ran towards them in gaily in happiness and walked abreast of them for a while abreast abreast means side to side side by side abreast that means side by side neck to neck we can say side by side or neck to neck bilkul saath mein ek katar mein okay he walked with them but for a while look at there again a phrase is there for a while sirf kuch palo ke liye yes fir kuch sirf kuch palo ke liye hi he walked abreast okay he walked abreast of them okay for a while being however soon left behind soon left behind fir aur piche chhut gaya attracted by the little insects look at there again another thing that attracted him yes So look at there. What you would say? The second thing that attracted him was a group of dragonflies in the flowering mustard field. Okay, actually mustard field. हम लिखने के बजाय better यही रहेगा कि we should write dragonflies. A group of dragonflies attracted him, which were flying there uh, over the mustard, miss flowering mustard field. Okay, that would be better to say instead of a flowering mustard field. So the first one, toys. second one is a group of dragon flies now the third one now the third one third one that attracted the boy were little insects little insects little insects okay look at that it is given clearly there he again left behind he again left behind attracted by the little insects and worms little insects 
एंड वर्म्स ओके लिटल इंसेक्ट्स एंड वर्म्स अगेन अट्रैक्टेड हिम विच वर देयर ऑन along the path footpath that were teeming out from their hiding places to enjoy the sunshine and here these worms and insects were teeming out teeming out means emerging emerging coming out from their hiding places so hiding places here what would you say hiding places hiding places means simply you can say their holes their holes वो जो होल्स उनके होते हैं उनके जो बील होते हैं उनके जो घर होते हैं जो जमीन में गड्ढे होते हैं उनके उस छेद को हम कह सकते हैं देयर हाइडिंग प्लेसेस देयर हाउस देयर नेस्ट देयर होल्स ओके सो दीज इंसेक्ट्स एंड वर्म्स वर कमिंग आउट टीमिंग आउट ऑफ देयर हाउसेस टू एंजॉय सनशाइन सनशाइन सुबह की साइन सुबह का जो सनशाइन होता है वो एंजॉय करने के लिए सन बाथ करने के लिए दे वर कमिंग आउट यस and here the boy was attracted again fir se attract ho jata hai when he saw the insects little insects and the worms yes got it so third thing here that attracted the boy on the way to on the way to look at that i am again saying that on the way to fair on the way to the fair toys a group of dragon flies and little insects and worms look at that then again what happens come child come his parents called from the shade of a grove where they had seated themselves on the edge of a wall yes so again as we have seen he soon left behind yes so again his parents called called over him come child come yes fir se usse bulate hain and when they called now they were seated Yes, they seated there on a on the edge of a wall, there in the grove. वहाँ एक grove था. Yes, मतलब grove means बगीचा. Yes, garden, garden of fruits. Fruits का जो garden होता है that is called और पेड़ों का जो फूलों का जो garden होता है या garden जिसे हम कहते हैं उसे कहा जाता है grove, बगीचा. Okay, so what happened there? He miss his parents were uh, there. under the shade of a grove where they had seated themselves on the edge of a well 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 means a kuwa ki wahan us grove mein yes aur us kuwa ke edge ke upar wo baithe hue the okay well so they were there and then look at the what happened and the boy as we have seen very obedient he ran towards them ye aur phir bhagte hue unke aur jata hai okay then let's see what happens there then come uh, a shower a shower of young flowers fell upon the child and then what happened as the grove grove means a garden of flowers we can say or garden of trees okay so what happened there in that garden in that grove a young a shower of uh, young flowers fell upon the child a shower of young flowers okay a shower of young flowers fell upon the child as he entered the grove and forgetting his parents he began to gather the raining petals in his hand okay then again the fourth thing that he that he was attracted yes and what is that the raining petals or the petals of petals of flowers petals of flowers okay petals of flowers of the grove of the grove so that was the fourth thing that attracted that attracted the boy okay that attracted the boy look at the petals petals okay not petals it is petals okay so here petals petals of the raining flower or raining petals you can say raining petals attracted the boy raining petals so here when he was coming towards his parents what happened there the flowers the petals of flowers fell upon him and these raining petals attracted the boy and he forget sorry or he forgot his parents and started collecting the petals raining petals in his hands okay so this was the fourth thing that attracted the boy then what happened there so then but lo he heard the 
cooing of doves and ran towards his parents shouting then again while he was collecting the raining petals what happened there he heard he heard the cooing sound of dove dove okay again the next one thing is there dove okay in the grove in the grove there was a dove and that sound sound of the dove cooing sound of that bird dove attracted him so he ran towards his parents shouting chillate hue dove the dove the dove the raining petals dropped from his forgotten hands and while he was uh, shouting that the dove 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 the pe the petals that he collected all dropped down all dropped down from his hand but he forgot forgot about all the petals and just shouting dove 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 so this way what you can say this is a fifth one thing that attracted the boy that attracted the boy on the way to the fair then let's see what is later on given here come child come they call to the child who had now gone running in wild capers round the banyan tree and gathering him up they uh, and gathering him up they took a narrow winding footpath which led to the fair through the mustard fields so look at the what is ha what happened there then so here they woke up as we have seen they seated there on the edge of the well in the grove so now they got up and started going towards the fair so they again called the boy to come to come yes they said come child come and they look at the what happened they called to the child who had now gone running in wild capers wild capers okay so now he gone running in wild capers round the banyan tree banyan tree banyan tree ke aas paas wo ek wild capers ki tarah ghumne laga yes so now look at the who had now gone running in wild capers round banyan tree means banyan tree was also there in the grove so he ran around ran around the banyan tree or what he, again you can say that the sixth one thing that attracted him was a wild uh, sorry banyan tree banyan tree that attracted him so he ran around that tree ran around that tree yes when his parents called him out yes then look at here there what happened and he there he was gathering gathering him up they took the narrow yes took the narrow gathering him up means uh, uh, taking him taking him yes usko apne saath liya and then they took the narrow winding footpath fir ek chhota sa winding footpath ek narrow footpath unhone liya and that put path which lead to the fair which lead to the fair aur wo chhota sa footpath jo tha wo kahan jane wala tha fair ki or means now they were about to they were about to reach to the fair through the mustard fields and that path was through the mustard field us mustard field se hi ek rasta jata tha ek chhota sa narrow footpath jata tha jo kahan pahunchta tha fair mein so now his parents his parents took the path took the foot path winding foot path and uh, a narrow narrow and winding look at that the two adjectives are used here for the foot path narrow choti si sakri winding jahan mast hawa chal rahi thi aise us mustard field ke beech ki jo foot path thi ek wahan se ab wo aur wo foot path kise lead karne wala tha us fair ko yes so now they together together started walking on the foot path okay now let's see what happens there whether they reach to the footpath or not or whether the boy again left behind or is there again anything that attracted the boy ya fir aur aisi koi cheez hai kya jo bachcho ko attract karta hai us bachche ko attract karta hai but now up to here we have seen that there are five six things that attracted the boy first one the toys then the second one is a group of dragon flies then little insects and worms then petals of flowers then dove and now the banyan tree Yes so these are the things or the list of the things that attracted the boy on the way look at the, the most important thing the most important thing is on the way to the fair okay on the way to the fair 
on the way to the fair on the way to the fair these were the things that attracted the boy okay now let's see what happens there do they reach or not as they neared the village as they neared the village village means koi gaon jahan wo fair tha as they neared near means as they came closer to the village the child could see many other footpaths full of throngs full of throngs full of throngs throngs means crowd yes now now what happened there the boy and the parents okay the little boy with his parents with his parents came closer came closer to the village came closer to the village you can imagine that this is a village okay and this is footpath foot, footpath from where they have come so when they reached here they found this village was connected to many villages with the footpath footpaths okay alag alag footpaths hi jisse wo gaon connected tha likewise his own village or like his own village jaise iska gaon us gaon se juda hua tha by the footpath same there many many villages were connected to the village uh, the, the fair the village where the fair was where the fair was so there when he came closer to the village he found many footpaths many footpaths connected to the village to the village where the fair was and there he saw that all these footpaths all these footpaths were full of full of throngs 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 means what you can say crowd throngs okay throngs means crowd crowds it was full of crowds full of people converging to the wall full of the fair converging to the wall full of the fair and felt at once repelled and fascinated by the confusion of the world he was entering so look at the what happened when he reached to the village or reach closer to the village what happened there he saw he saw many other footpaths full of people and they all were coming coming to the village like whirlpool means here here he here he called called that fair as whirlpool whirlpool pata hai jaise ek तूफान होता है भैया एक तूफान ही कहा जाता है उसे जिसमें एक वर्लपूल तैयार होता है ऐसे गोल 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 वाला एक भवरा जैसी यस सो देर ही मीन्स लुक एट द वर्ड्स द राइटर यूज्ड हियर ही कॉल्ड दैट फेयर एज वर्लपूल एंड ऑल द विलेजेस अराउंड ऑल द विलेजेस अराउंड ही वर गैदरिंग देयर they were getting attracted towards him and gathering they are coming closer to the fla- uh, that fair and there at uh, at once at once the boy felt repelled and fascinated or at once usi samay bachcha ek ajeeb sa feel karne laga repelled feel karne laga and he was fascinated by the confusion of the world he was entering so he was confused or simply you can say he was confused confused to see the world means jo duniya wo dekhne jane wala tha it was really confusing for him where he was going to enter means iske pehle jo usne duniya dekhi thi kyunki ab sirf apna gaon dekha tha kuch hi log dekhe honge ya fir se apna ghar dekha hoga lekin now he was going to see the fair and as we know that in the fair many people come there yes from neighboring villages नेबरिंग जितने भी विलेजेस होते हैं वहां से सारे लोग गैदर होते हैं एंड दैट वाज अ न्यू वर्ल्ड फॉर हिम और ये इसके लिए एक नई दुनिया थी एंड दैट्स व्हाई ही वाज कंफ्यूज्ड और ही वाज फैसिनेटेड बाय दिस कंफ्यूजिंग वर्ल्ड ये जो कंफ्यूजिंग वर्ल्ड उसके सामने जो पैदा हुआ था उससे वो फैसिनेटेड भी हो गया था यस अट्रैक्टेड यस और कन्फ्यूजन क्यों कहा होगा कि सारे सारे रोड पूरे वहाँ एक ही जगह आ रहे हैं लोग अलग अलग प्रकार के वहाँ आ रहे हैं सो that was a confusion for him but that confusion or confusing world attracted the boy attracted the boy lekin usi confusing world ne us bachche ko attract kiya so this is about the first part we can say first part of the story uh, uh, story before entering the village uh, sorry fair what happened okay before entering the fair what happened fair mein enter karne karne ke pehle kya kya hua that we have seen 
now in our next video lecture we will see what happens what happens in the fair okay so i hope you have enjoyed my class and understood the part that is done very well so see you later in our in our next video lecture keep watching my videos and enjoy the classes so guys see you soon bye bye